like a certain champion we know, you may be wondering, why I bother existing despite everyone's protests? Well, I don't know. So anyway, here's something I like to call having fun in League of Legends. I don't even know what this is, like, this could have come out soon enough, but uh, wanting to die every time you wake up in the morning really does take its toll. We have a three step plan to having fun in League of Legends. One of these steps will bring you happiness. Now you're going to want to start by getting into a League of Legends game. Now I know that that doesn't instinctively bring on thoughts of happiness or joy, probably brings on some thoughts of despair and sadness, like when my parents think about me. But that doesn't matter. I'm telling you, you just pick random. See, me and my friend, the Womanizer here, have called bot lane and picked random. So let's see how that goes for us. Now, this isn't the best example, because I got Janna when I picked random. And a lot of the enjoyment from Janna just comes from being a sadistic fuck and ruining any sort of fun on the enemy team. This kind of ties into step three here. But uh, we do have a full AD Zoe, so let's see how this goes. So this is what I find funny. When Xin Zhao rocks up, he's like, I, I, my spear has the power of a million typhoons, I am unstoppable. And Callista's all like, vengeance shall be mine. And then they jump to Zoe, and this eight-year-old girl just sits there, slapping, slapping them to death with tiny little star particles going, Sparkles! Fun fact, Zoe was actually originally designed as a full AD assassin for her ability to fire one auto after ulting. Here we can see, oh, oh. AD or AP, Zoe can still take most of your health with the click of a button. Who even needs skill shots when you can just ulti auto and one shot them? This is why this shit is so funny. You just pick random stuff and you get these kind of games. Like imagine this, you're Xin Zhao, like, I am an unstoppable warrior. I have the force of a million typhoons behind my blade. The greatest warrior to ever live. And then there's Zoe, who's all like, double rainbows. Now, and then you see shit like this, and you're just like, yep, those champion themes are working fine. So if that doesn't quite do it for you, then step two, messing with toxic players. See, the majority of League of Legends players are actually deranged fucking psychopaths who have less mental stability than the amount of effort I put into that image. So what you do is, instead of flaming them, you just fuck with their heads. See, in this example here, this guy said noob Shaco when I didn't immediately kill myself to go secure a kill he failed to get. So for the rest of the game, the only things I said were noob Zed, with varying question marks and exclamation marks like a disabled Pokemon. Now, this guy was slowly, slowly losing his fucking mind trying to communicate with me, until a Yi player asked, yo, wh why is this Zed so mad? And I was just like, oh, pff, I don't know, man. Like, maybe we're, I don't think we're playing exactly how he wants us to. And dear God, did that Zed lose his shit. And then, of course, he did the thing that any rational human being would do. He immediately wanted to 1v1 someone at Dragon Pit on the enemy team. You know, like, I'm the best player on this team, I can 1v1 anyone. <laughs> So of course, I'm a helpful summoner, I follow the summoner's code, so I told the enemy team, I said, Man, guys, can we, you gotta go 1v1 him, like, like, I'm, I'm scared of this guy, he has, he has a really small penis, like, I'm afraid he's gonna cut himself if he doesn't get some sort of gratification by 1v1ing you guys. So yeah, as you can see in this chat log, uh, that's what happened, and the, the Zed wasn't having a great time, and I was fucking hysterically laughing, I could not handle it, and I'm only sad that I did not get more chat logs from this game. Because this guy was fucking losing his shit. Yeah, so all you have to do is uh, find those people who take this game more seriously than they do real life, thinking that if you miss one CS, it is worth telling you to kill yourself, and instead you just fuck with their heads, and they will lose their shit, and it's goddamn hilarious. You can always play a gimmick lane, like Cat Lane. Now. For our step three, our final form, we appeal to the riot balance gods. They're sitting in their offices, you know, smoking crack, fucking just snorting that cocaine, hotboxing, right? And and we we appeal to their balance changes because they know better than any other company what fun gameplay is. They understand the joy, which. It brings the enemy to play against Avaris Lulu Lane. In fact, to assist this, they even added items like Ardent Sensor into the game. You know, so let's just take take a sniff with them and get ready to have some of that good old-fashioned Riot fun gameplay. <laughs> ah, it's the stuff. Now, I want to warn you all. This is designed to win games in a very sadistic, fucking disgusting manner, which is Varus Lulu. Like, if you're not ready for the sadistic pain you're about to bring down on these people, you should 
maybe not go for this. Furthermore, this is not a guaranteed win for all you people who only enjoy getting, like, wins. If you fail to turn your monitor on, and or don't loosen your helmet enough for adequate oxygen flow to your brain, you can still somehow lose with this bot lane. See, here we see Tristana playing very passively, because she knows her place in the world, but she still hanging on to that, that glimpse of hope that maybe she can live, that maybe she is not going to die like the dog she is in this lane, but one swift arrow ends that. Let's just make it so they have no fucking life. I don't want these people to have a lane. I don't want these people to have any sort of meaningful interaction. I see you. Could shield myself, but if I shield myself, I'm not following the build. Dickhead Christian. Make no mistake, when I play this disgusting fucking abomination of a lane, it just ruins any sort of fun or enjoyment for the enemies. I do this for a sadistic pleasure, which is what I recommend any of you who wish to have fun in this game do. After you've been, you know, shit stomped over and over again by these filthy fucking shield supports, this is what I recommend you do. You, you join them. You stoop down to their level, and you bring upon the world the misery and fucking will to die that I possess every fucking morning I wake up. You need to channel your inner Carthus like I have here. I go around br helping bring death to everyone on the enemy team, the death that I so eagerly desire in my life. Get that? This one's coming now. Keep going. Kill we kill anyone that tries to stop us. Lol. I have level 2 ulti. We're still fine. What? Ignite doesn't stop shields, because nothing counters shields. Give me those fucking stacks, Christian. <gasps> What's he gonna do? The fuck is he? I wasted ulti there. Just to fucking upset him that little bit more. You have life Oh, you have life steal. Oh, juicy. Oh, that's a stupid champion. My AP is only getting larger as we kill things, Christian. 